Hey you guys, it's Erin at Eat, Move, Rest, and welcome or welcome back to this channel. If you've never stopped by before, essentially what we talk about is the three things that we all do every single day that we could all be doing better. Eat, move, and rest. So we'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button up in the corner and stick around, hang out with us. And essentially what I'm gonna be talking about today doesn't really fit into any of those categories, eat, move, or rest but I've been getting tons of questions and requests for natural and organic beauty and skincare products and vegan and cruelty-free makeup. So I'm gonna share all of that with you guys today, kind of run you through my products that I use. I will link them below when possible so you can check them out for yourselves. And I'm gonna show you my daily makeup routine. So my disclaimer here is that I'm not a professional. A lot of my techniques that I use or the products and where I put them on my face in the order that I put them on may not be perfectly accurate, but I've been doing my makeup since the late 90s and it's working out, so I am sticking to it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and leave me some love. Show me a comment or two below showing maybe some upgrades that you might have for me, suggestions, and you will see me without makeup, so don't get scared now. <laughs> All right, so here it is, the clean, fresh-faced, blank slate Erin that you don't typically see on the Eat, Move, Rest YouTube channel. I actually really like the process of putting my makeup on it's a part of my morning routine. Usually I'll listen to a podcast, something inspiring and motivating to get me revved up, geared up to go for the day. And yeah, I just, I really love it. It helps me to feel a little bit more put together when I leave the house. But on the same token, I am trying to get more comfortable uh, with being in my natural skin and not feeling naked. <laughs> I've kind of come to look at makeup through a new lens, I guess you could say, and it's become for me less about how much can I cake on to conceal my flaws and more of how can I play up and accentuate my strengths. So that's something I would challenge all of you to look at with your makeup routine as well. And for the sake of not making this like a super duper long video, I'm gonna speed through a lot of it. But like I said, anything that you don't catch, I'll have links below to all of these products. The first thing I do is I wash my face with warm water, and then I'll finish it up with a splash of cold water just to kind of wake me up first thing in the morning. I don't really use any face washes or scrubs in the mornings, um, just towel dry after that. And then the first thing I put on is I'll take a facial pad and put on this alcohol-free witch hazel toner. It helps to balance the pH. Love it. This is actually a new product, Truly Organic Super Face Cream. I just found these guys, I would say a few months ago, and I've been hooked on this stuff ever since. It's really thick and creamy, but it's not sticky, and it sits really well underneath my mineral makeup. The next thing I put on after my moisturizer is a Tarte BB Cream Tinted Primer, and it's got SPF 30. Looks like this. All of the Tarte products are cruelty-free and vegan, like I said, all my products are. Um, and they're very minimal in ingredients and chemicals. And this one I really love because it has the SPF in it. The rest of my body I don't use sunscreen just because I like to get that natural vitamin D from the sun. For the BB cream, the next thing I put on is another Tarte product. This is called Shape Tape. This is a contour concealer. Looks like that. And a little bit of this goes a really long way. And you use your ring finger because it exerts the least amount of pressure on that sensitive and delicate under eye area. Now we'll be moving on to my mineral makeup. This is a Bare Minerals product and I use medium beige, this is SPF 15 in it. And again, I like that having the sunscreen on my face to avoid premature aging, sunspots, wrinkles, fine lines, all that kind of good stuff. And the brush that I use, this is actually a recent upgrade and I really, really love it. There's just no reason to use brushes that are made with animal hair. It's just absolutely unnecessary and I really love this um, IT Cosmetics for Ulta brush. 
It is called Velvet Lux LBD Powder and the number is 307 if you're looking to get a similar one. This gives a great all over coverage. It's so, so soft. I take my brushes, they'll last me a lifetime because once a week I'll just use my Dr. Bronner's body wash, squirt a little bit on there, get it really wet, suds it up, run it through the water until the water runs clear. That's when you know it's clean and then you just, if you have a way of hanging it, which I do, I go like this and let it dry. The next thing I use is another mineral, Bare Minerals SPF 15. And this shade is tan. I usually just use this one almost as a bronzer and I just kind of use the same brush and fill in these contour areas where the shadows would typically hit your face just to give my face a little bit more structure. After that mineral powder, the next thing I put on is a Bare Minerals Matte Gloss. It's called Juju is the color. I guess it's not a gloss, it's a matte lip color. <laughs> Looks like this. And I really love this stuff because it stays on all day because it's not super slippery and it just kind of gives your lips a natural look without looking all sticky and glossy. Next up, we've got eyeliner, and this is actually just a random find from Amazon. The brand is Anika, it's I-N-I-K-A, I think that's how you pronounce it, and this one is actually certified organic, and it is one that requires a sharpener. I usually just do my upper eyelid and not the underneath because I like for my eyes to look really white and bright during the day. Next up, I've just got a white eyeliner pencil. This is just cheapo. And all I do with this one is I just kind of go in the corners right here where your eyes can tend to be prone to redness and brighten it up a little bit. Next up, we've got another Bare Minerals. This is a loose eyeshadow powder. The color is Vanilla Sugar. It's kind of like a natural pinkish tone to it peachy pink. It's very, very sheer, so you can easily layer this stuff on. The brush that I use is, this is another IT Cosmetics for Ulta. It's Velvet Lux Plush All Over Shadow. The number is 322. I really like the natural and white and bright eye look, so I pr basically just stick to this. Even if I'm going out at night, I don't change it up a whole lot. I don't use an eyebrow pencil or color in my eyebrows or anything like that. I have dabbled in that arena, but I usually end up looking like a clown, so I just don't even mess with it. Next up is blush, and it's another Bare Minerals. You can tell I'm a big Bare Minerals fan. And this is the Natural High. And so I have done some research on Bare Minerals, and they do come up as vegan and cruelty-free all across the board with all their products. did a little bit more digging, and I did find that their parent company is based in China and they may do animal testing. I'm not entirely sure on that whole story either, but like I said, Bare Minerals is vegan and cruelty free. I'm gonna keep using it because I love it and my skin loves it. If you guys have any similar suggestions for me, maybe possible upgrades in the mineral makeup market, leave me some comments below and I will be sure to check those out. What I like to do to kind of set my foundation and my powders and all that mineral makeup onto my face is I took this blue bottle and filled it uh, about three quarters of the way up with water and then I filled the rest with 100% organic rose water and I found that on Amazon. I'll link that below. Rose water is great for, again, pH balance and like I said, it kind of sets my makeup into place. And it's really refreshing in the mornings. I love this part. Bonus, rose water smells incredible. I love it. If I choose to wear a lip gloss over this matte lip color, then the one I'm loving right now, this is a Tarte Lip Sculptor. It's got a lipstick on one side, which I rarely use, and on the other side, it's got a gloss. So two in one, it's awesome. I keep this thing in my purse, and the color is Voltage. Moving on to my favorite part. Mascara. <laughs> if I was stranded on a desert island and I could only bring one 
form of cosmetic with me, it would for sure be my mascara. I use two different types. Both of them are Bare Minerals. This first one is Flawless Definition Volumizing Mascara by Bare Minerals. And I like this one because it goes on kind of light, so if I want a lighter, more natural looking mascara, I only use this one. But if I want it to be a little bit more substantial, then I will layer this Lash Domination by Bare Minerals on top. And this one is really good at attaching to like each and every individual hair on your eyelashes. And then this one is really awesome for just thickening and layering and making them look really voluptuous. So you can see there's a major difference between the lash domination and just the simple volumizing mascara. That's why I really love to do both layers. I almost forgot one final thing I use. This is another Bare Minerals product, go figure, Bare Minerals Concealer. This one is Light 2, and this one also has SPF in it. And usually I just use this one, and I'll take a Q-tip that's like this. It's flat on one end, pointed on the other, and I'll just take the pointed end, touch up any problem areas, and then kind of blend it in with the other side. So that's the last optional step that I sometimes like to use for breakouts and things like that. Next step is to do my hair and get dressed for the day. If you guys want, I can do a hair tutorial and show you how I curl my hair. And I can also show you my wardrobe and how I'm upgrading to more vegan and cruelty-free products. Let me know in the comments below. All right, so there you have it. The makeup's on, I'm dressed and ready to go for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up below. Leave me some love in the comments and let me know if you have any suggestions for further upgrades I or someone else might be able to make to their makeup routine. And I just want to encourage all of you at home to make those upgrades with your makeup. And on top of that, just to remember when you're putting on your makeup, it's not about concealing your flaws, it's about accentuating your strengths. And that's how life should be in general. How can you improve upon what you're already good at? Anyways, thanks for stopping by and I hope you guys eat, move, rest your best. See ya.